Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us for today's webinar titled Pellet Mill Magazine's 2021 Editorial Preview. My name is John Nelson, Vice President of Operations, Marketing and Sales at BBI International, and I am joined today with Anna, our editor, and she will be covering uh, some of our topics uh, as we get go later into the webinar. She'll, she's going to cover the, the topics that are going to be discussed and written about throughout the year. So before I jump into that part, I, I want to cover what we're going to be talking about on this webinar. We're going to look at the Pellet News Online. We're going to look at digital press packages. We're going to look at audience breakdowns, print facts, presence and reach. And, and then Anna will come on and talk about editorial highlights and offer an exclusive webinar discount. Now, before I jump into that, I do want to talk a little bit about the editorial scope in general uh, uh, with the magazine. And, you know, Pellet Mill Magazine has been, been around quite a while. And it it's... Um, you know, it's it's it really features technical contributions and in, in our and has expert commentary with professionals from professionals in the densified biomass fuel industry. And it's it covers a broad range of issues affecting wood pellet industry stakeholders from production technology, plant management and domestic and international sales to pellet standards, policy and environmental regulation. So really it is where you go as a reader if you want to understand more about where is the pellet industry uh, it, and, and it is delivered to producers which we will get into here shortly um, and, and this is the number one publication that you want to be thinking about when you are looking at getting in front of this industry uh, and get in front of those eyeballs of those producers. So talking a little bit about uh, online and now Pellet Mill Magazine is part of Biomass Magazine. So when we look at these stats, you're really looking at biomagazine.com. And so, uh, and it also shares some of its newsletter with uh, some of the subscribers of Biomass Magazine. And so when we look at these numbers, we're going to kind of go bounce back and forth. But you can see here, Pellet Mill Magazine's uh, their, the newsletter that goes out goes out to 28,900 subscribers. Now, these are people that we have built built a list around for years. They have opted in. They said, I'm interested in pellet news. I want to know more about the industry, specifically about that industry. So again, you can see that we that list is tailored directly for the pellet industry. So you look to the right here on the slide, and you can see Biomass Magazine's new le newsletter. So that is our a broad, broader biomass magazine newsletter that cover, and that covers 38,330 subscribers. Again, those are people that have opted in specifically for that information. So we do have two options here, your Pellet Mill Press newsletter and your Biomass Weekly newsletter. So we do have those two options. Now, we're going to look at Biomass Magazine's stats and visitors and their page views. And again, Pellet Mill Magazine is a part of Biomass Magazine, so we're, you're going to share stats here. So again, it, it helps bring those numbers up. So you're looking at our monthly page views are at 68,000 page views per month and 820,000 page views per year. This is based on Google Analytics, uh, where we drive our stats. If you want to get more detail and dive further into the stats, we can. But again, this is a great option for advertising when you're looking at how are you going to track your numbers, uh, what type of ROI are you getting. Uh, this is a great option for you when you're looking at, hey, where should I put my advertising dollars in? And I want to track those advertising dollars. The newsletter and the, mag and the online site is a great way to go, and our account managers will help you get those numbers that you need. One of the big questions is, is who goes to our website? And you can see the majority of people that go to our website are from the U.S., but then we do get into Canada, the U.K., India, and so on. And, and the numbers are relatively large, meaning our audience is very international. And more so than our, some of our other publications, we see that our Biomass Magazine 
publication is very uh, has a broader international audience. So if you are trying to hit the U.S., obviously this is clearly a great place to go. But we do have some reach into the into the international market as well. So I highly would recommend that if you're looking at the U.S. and you're looking at the international market online is a great way to do that. Now, one of the questions we also get is who makes up these lists? Well, this list, our newsletter lists. So if you're doing online advertising on our newsletter, those lists are kind of dissected the same way because they're driving a lot of the web traffic. So if, if you were going to dissect who's getting the newsletter, it would mirror our website traffic here. Now I'm going to go down into social media and I'm, we're going to look at our Twitter followers. We have 14,000 plus Twitter followers and three, over 3,000 network referrals. 5,000 Facebook you know, followers and, and LinkedIn followers, uh, we're almost at 4,000. Now, why is that important? Because we're posting every story, every feature, every article that's written, we are posting it to these social media sites and driving traffic back to the website. So when they click on the story that we posted, they're going back to the website and hopefully looking at an advertisement that you purchased online and clicking on your ad and going to your website. So again, driving traffic, we're, all, we're trying to help you really look at, have a venue for your analytics, uh, drive traffic, and focus on the pellet industry. So what, this has become more and more popular as, as people are really looking at uh, you know, digital options uh, but what we've created here is what we call the digital press package. And our digital press package includes press releases that you can write or we can write uh, for you uh, at an additional cost. But we will send our, a press release, if you have some news to talk about, to our 61,000 plus subscribers on our news list. So this is our biomass and pellet uh, mill news list that we will send this out to. In addition to that, if you have some content you want to get out, we will post our press release to our national press wire as well, to our energy press press wire, and that goes all to hundreds of of, of energy focused uh, news uh, news outlets, and we will give you a report on that. So again, a lot of analytics. We can tell you clicks. We can tell you opens, clicks. We can tell you where it went, where in the country it went, who picked it up. Uh, and then in addition with this press package, you will give you an online advertisement, a medium rectangle on biomassmagazine.com. Again, more analytics that can, you can get. And then we will also send out, we'll post on our social media site, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we'll post that out and hopefully get you some clicks as well. So again, if you're looking for a very trackable um, way to get, a, uh, get your information out quickly, this is an outstanding option and has become more, very popular in the last year. So if you are interested in that, uh, definitely contact our account managers, contact Chip, contact Howie. They will be more than happy to walk through that with you, give you more detail and, and stats on that. And you can buy these individually as well. So not just the package, but you can do, th do these things inside this press package individually. Okay. Looking a little more into the actual print publication, now this publication is printed and, and we'll be printing it four times and, and Anna will go into that here in a little bit and she will talk about our bonus distribution. So I, and that's a really important factor of who's getting the magazine and where it's going. I mean, those, in addition to all the great content that Anna and her team are writing, but th those are the things that, that she's gonna cover in her section. Right now, I'm going to talk about the audience profile. Each issue of Pellet Mill Magazine goes to 5,000. It goes to 52 countries. And based on, based on some stats that we've got from third parties uh, who have gone in and um, every other year, we have a third party come into our publications, kind of do an audit, contact our readers, see how many times they're reading it, see how the advertisements are doing, and so on, and rate it. And through that third-party service, we've found that 2.3 readers occur per issue. So then we also send each issue to 1,100 
plus future and existing producers in the biomass industry. Uh, those are pellet producers, those are producers of biomass power and heat, RNG, et cetera. So those producers are all getting it. If they're on our pellet producer map, which we'll cover here in a second, they are getting a copy of Pellet Mill Magazine. So we equate that when we look at our readership and our producers that are getting each publication and our subscribers, we get a total of 11,500. So who who is getting it? Our top category, besides other obviously, is producers, then consultants, equipment and services, technology and so on. So you, you can get a good idea of who our readership is, how many we are, how many readers we have, and, and what you would expect out of, the, out of those advertisements. Again, if you are looking to target the pellet industry, these are going into their mailboxes. This is going to be sitting on, their, on a pellet producer's desk. It's going to be open. It's going to be red. So this is where you want to be if you're looking to, to uh, you know, sell your products or services inside the pellet industry. This next, art, uh, this next slide really talks about um, what is, how well is print doing compared to other mediums, uh, other marketing venue, uh, you know, applications. And, and, and so really what we're looking at is we had another, a third party as well here uh, kind of produce a test. And we can give you more information on this, on these stats. We actually have more stats than what the slide shows. But when you're looking at how effective is my print advertising, because that's one of the things we, you know, you get with print. A lot of people say, well, print's going down. Well, it it may be if you're a newspaper, that may be the case, um, and people are getting it online. However, a, a trade journal, a trade publication still has a lot of credibility and carries a lot of weight and is open and read. And so when you're looking at this, uh, that's what this slide is talking about. And we're talking about what they came out with after doing their survey is ads in magazine medias are more engaging and valued than in other media forms. So, and, and I find that self, uh, I find myself kind of doing the same thing. And when I'm looking through a magazine, you're just, it's more tangible. You're more engaged in that advertisement. So you're looking at that ad, you're kind of involved, you're invested inside in that ad because you're going through it. We also know that a lot of our readers, uh, you know, we know Anna and her team are writing great content, and that's why people are going there. But we also know a large portion of our readers, uh, the producers picking up the magazine, are looking at Pellet Mill Magazine because they are interested in the ads. They want to see new technologies. They want to see new services. So, again, it's very important uh, to put it inside print magazine. I, you know, if you were coming to me and saying, what would I do with my advertising dollars? I would do, I would do a mix. I would do print and some digital, and I would track that and see what, what, what was coming out on top. So definitely uh, some other stats that we have here. Obviously, 52% recall a product or service inside a magazine. 62% of readers act after seeing a print magazine ad. So that's a pretty big number they're acting when they see your ad they're going to act on that ad uh, and then a large you know larger ads this note right here larger ads and premium positions create stronger awareness um, and and so that is just a point that there's a reason why premium ads cost more full page ads cost more skyscrapers online cost more versus a small rectangle or a medium rectangle there's a reason for that because they're they will attract more recall because the person is more engaged in that ad they'll remember that ad better so that's just a rule of thumb in advertising in general obviously there's other factors on how good the ad is etc but for the rule of thumb the larger they add the more premium spot you're going to have more impressions more people are going to see that ad now this last slide is uh, looking at other mediums really people are having a more positive experience reading a magazine than you know being crammed with e e you know ads on your phone if you're looking through your phone or on tv on tv or radio uh you know you're more annoyed by those ads so really they're saying magazine ads really have 
a po- have a positive experience and a positive impression on the person uh, taking in that that advertisement. Presence and reach still sticking on this this format. We want to talk a little bit about some of the other products that we have in Pellet Mill Magazine and Biomass Magazine. And so for each issue, we do have a product and service spotlight feature. So if you are interested in having an article written about your feature and having it published inside Pellet Mill Magazine, we do have an option for that. Um, We can give you more details if you contact our account managers. It, but if you know this is a great option, we're seeing people do this more and more as well. But we do have a section that really showcases uh, specific. Um, you know, if you're if you're saying, hey, I have this great technology, I want to write about, it, or can we get something in Pellet Mill Magazine? We do have an option. We put it inside the section that really showcases it. Um, and 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 again, a lot of people like it from the standpoint of, hey, they can say. Hey, look! I was inside Pellet Mill Magazine. Look at my look at you know. You really build credibility by having your technology or your company talked about in a, in the leading trade publication in the pellet industry. So it's a great option for you. I highly recommend looking at that. Uh, we would help you write it. You can write you know. You can be invested in that as well in terms of how that content is laid out. So. Um, definitely take a look at that option. We have the North American pellet producer map. This is always popular. It it goes quickly. It's mailed to all of our pellet producers on the map. Uh, They put it up on their wall. It's one of those things that they look forward to, uh, but they, most pellet producers will put it up on their wall so they can see all the, you know, all the the numbers and, and keep track of everything that's going on inside the pellet industry with other facilities. What's nice about this is your ad will be up there and it's a great option in terms of year round, you know, looking at it year round, you want your ad up, it's right in front of a pellet producer if they're hanging it on their wall and for that entire year, you've got your ad right there. So if they're looking for your product or your service, you're right there on their wall. Um, Again, mail to all of our subscribers, mail to all production facilities, uh, we distributed at the International Biomass Conference and Expo. We distributed at our a uh, lot of our. We do some trades with some of the other conferences in the industry. So PFIs, uh, you know, we we trade with PFIs uh, event, uh, UCPA's event, and we make sure these maps and these products are getting to those places as well. Again, Anna will go into that here when she talks about bonus distribution. But again, I talked about the Pellet Mill Press e-newsletter. And another thing here is the Pellet Mill Magazine reprint. So let's say you were able to get an article, whether you did the product spotlight or your company was featured here inside and Anna and her team wrote a feature on you. You can have that reprinted and we can help you with that and you can have a pdf of it you can get it reprinted it can be a leave behind so when you're at an event you can say i was featured in pellet mill magazine and you can have that available again adding credibility to your product and service because you were you were highlighted in pellet mill magazine we also have biomass industry directory now everyone inside the industry gets one free listing in the print version and the online directory so it it is still available. It's still an option if it's something that you want to do. And we still have advertising available for the biomass industry directory. So that it's it's closing towards the end of the month, but you still have the availability and the option to get inside this directory. So I highly recommend getting online, looking at that, um, getting your free one. If anything, just get your free <laughs> listing on the print and online directory. But we also have advertising options. And what's nice about that is again, just like the map, you really have a long shelf life because this is being sent to every producer. So when they're looking for um, a product or service in a specific category, your name can be listed there. They'll have it on their desk all year and they'll go to you because you're an expert inside the industry. They don't need to explain what the biomass industry is or the pellet mill industry is Um, because they know you're familiar with it. So again, another great option for advertising. We also have some custom content 
that we can do. This really goes into the product spotlight and service, but we do have some custom content. When I talked about uh, um, looking at uh, the press release, we can make sure we get that sent out over our newswire, some of that custom content that that really talks about your product or service. And if you're again, if you're ramping up quickly, you want to get that information out, this is a great option for you. Uh, and then Biomass Magazine's webinar series. Like this webinar, you, we will create and promote and market a, you know, a custom webinar on the topic you want. And so a lot of the times what we ask is, have you worked with a, a production facility, a pellet producer in the last year or two? How have you helped them? And those are the kind of the questions we ask and we kind of feature that inside these webinar series. And it's a great way to really do kind of a case study where you get to talk about your product your, or your service to the pellet industry. And we're marketing that to producers. You're going to have online ads. You're going to, you're going to have leads. So anyone who's registering for those webinars, we're going to let you see who those contacts are. So great guerrilla marketing tactic. If you're just saying, hey, I need to generate leads quickly and I need to generate leads now, a webinar is a outstanding option for you and I highly highly recommend that and with that I am going to hand it over to Anna thanks John uh, as John said I'm Anna Simmet editor of pellet mill magazine uh, I've been with the magazine since it was launched uh, over a decade ago uh, I'll start my brief talk here today telling you a little bit about what we cover in pellet mill magazine first who do we write for we write primarily for pellet producers or manufacturers, you know, the project developers and plant personnel. Uh, in the magazine, we focus on both industrial and domestic fuel pellet production. Um, we focus a little bit more on North America, but we do global coverage and we cover home heating use to large scale power plants. Um, and this really covers all aspects of production um, from the forest uh, to ash disposal. And one thing I'll say is we just wrapped up our annual North American wood pellet production map. Um, our rough numbers tell us that there is currently about 21.8 million metric tons of capacity operating under construction, uh, temporarily idle or proposed in North America. About 15.9 million metric tons of that is in the U.S. and about 5.9 million metric tons in Canada. Uh, we are still in the midst of a global pandemic, but so far the industry has seemed very minimally impacted. We still need heat and power, of course, and um, in many cases we've been hearing there may be even more demand for pellets, such as in-home heating, as more people are staying home. Uh, and for example, a recent report filed with the USDA FAS shows that the European Union's wood pellet market has been relatively unaffected by the pandemic. Uh, the EU, which of course, along with Japan, uh, has been a major driver of North American wood pellet production and consumption. Uh, the EU consumed about 29 million metric tons of wood pellets in 2018. Um, and uh, the report predicts that wood pellet demand will expand to 30.8 million metric tons by the end of 2020, and that's just the EU. Uh, the domestic market continues to grow each year, and we have been hearing a lot of optimism from domestic producers who came off of record low inventories the last heating season. Uh, so now I'll talk a little bit about uh, the magazine and how it's set up. Front section, uh, we have columns. Um, these uh, can be guest authored. I often invite um, people and companies to submit guest columns, or they can be recurrent. Um, we have uh, Tim Ports from the Pellet Fuels Institute who has a recurring column in each issue. Another we've had is Chris Weiberg of Biomass Energy Laboratory who often writes about pellet quality and testing. These are more op-ed style articles. Uh, we always dedicate a couple of pages uh, in the front to business briefs. Uh, these are usually, but not limited to, announcements of hirings or promotions, partnerships between companies and new products or offerings. Uh, we run these free of charge, and anyone can submit news for potential publication to me at any time. Uh, another component to our magazines, uh, contribution articles. These articles are written and submitted by um, industry experts or stakeholders. Uh, they focus on a specific topic. Uh, one example of one we ran in issue three of Pellet Mill Magazine was an article titled 
Changes to Dust, Fire, and Explosion Standards by Jeff Davis at Conversion Technologies, Inc. And of course, uh, the final major piece for magazines are feature articles, which are a little more lengthy than contributions. Uh, one that I recently wrote for Peltmo Magazine dug into front-end wood pellet process design. So now let's talk about uh, themes for 2021. Uh, one thing I will mention right off the bat, when you see the bonus dist distributions below, um, if the events are held virtually, we will make sure that these magazines get to um, virtual attendees of the event. Issue one, uh, material handling and storage, product analysis, testing and quality control. Uh, here we're looking at transporting and handling of Rama fiber, things like quality and moisture control, conveying technology, shredders, grinders, material resizing equipment. Uh, one thing I will say that's not on this slide is that we will be adding a bonus theme here, which is bagging. Uh, bonus distributions for this, International Biomass Conference and Expo, Waste Expo, and Argus Biomass. Moving on to issue two, uh, the theme is fire and explosion protection, dust control, personnel safety training, and emergency, emergency response. This is a very popular issue. Here we will cover anything from systems and equipment to prevent and mitigate fires and explosions, to dust control techniques and policy related to that, such as OSHA requirements, DHAs, uh, and so on. Um, all of this kind of goes hand in hand with employee education and training when it comes to plant safety. Issue three. Oh, let me back up here. Bonus distributions, International Biomass Conference and Expo, uh, and uh, the PFI Annual Conference. Okay, issue three. Our theme is operations and maintenance, automation, plant optimization, predictive maintenance, asset management, and operation efficiency. Uh, this includes anything from automation software to new drying models or technology, um, lubrication and greases, uh, any repair or maintenance of the heart of pellet facilities, pellet press, roller bearings, and so on. Uh, bonus distributions for this are Wood Pellet Association of Canada Conference, uh, the UCPA Exporting Pellets Conference, and the International Biomass Congress and Expo. Moving on to issue four, uh, themes to be covered include pellet mill technologies, project development, engineering, and construction. Uh, in this issue, we might discuss plant expansions or new projects, new and improved equipment or technologies that producers might be interested in integrating into their plant designs. Uh, we might look at developmental trends and market growth or fiber trends. Uh, bonus distribution for this, UCPA Exporting Pellets Conference. So that wraps uh, up our issues. Please don't read, uh, hesitate to reach out to me with any questions related to uh, magazine content um, or give me a call. Uh, a special thanks to today's sponsor, the International Biomass Conference and Expo, which will be held this year on an innovative virtual platform. Visit biomassconference.com for more info. And of course, be sure to check out our upcoming events and take advantage of a 20% discount on a full page print advertisement exclusive to all attendees of this webinar. Just give us a call or email us to claim this. And uh, that will conclude today's webinar. On behalf of Pellet Mill Magazine, thank you so much for joining us uh, and have a great day.